the camera. All right, so to begin, let's just ground ourselves and see where we're at. So take a moment to lengthen your toes, lengthen your heels, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, feel down into the feet. So as if you connected to your ground a little bit more. Gently bend your knees and just feel like your now blood flow can go all the way up, all the way down as you soften. Think about your tailbone, take it down. Hips, take them open. Crown of the head, reach it up. So feel like your belly is lifting. And then roll the shoulders back. And just feel nice and open. And scan down your body for just a moment and see if there's any tension or anything that you want to care for or strengthen. And when you're ready, just exhale and let's start to move. So lift the knee, lift your arms. And start to just feel the breath. So nice and deep. How deeply can you feel your belly and then empty it out? Allow yourself to get that fresh renewal. You look great. And then we'll add a little strength and posture. So think down to the outer edge of your grounded foot and really press it. Yeah. And so that'll open the hip. And then see if you can lengthen up through the crown of the head. So now your core is doing most of the work. You look great. Last two. And then we'll reach and pull back. And you can make it yours. So maybe you really want to reach front to get the back of the shoulders or reach back to get the heart. And add back into it that pressure into the grounded foot to feel like you're lifting out of your hips. Nice deep breath. Just feeling your life energy this morning. And then two more. And we'll alternate. So opposite knee, opposite arm. So get one going. Yep. And here you can play too. You can kind of see shape and keep opening up the collarbones. Allow yourself to feel that freedom. Nice deep breath. And then the last two, and we'll add a twist. So reach and pull down. And come back to your breath. Maybe the deep exhale really helps you open up the back by drawing your belly in. And expand your heart in the middle. Last two, and then come on down. Inhale, reach up. You can clasp your hands and just lift and stretch. If you want to back bend, soft knees, take the tailbone back and then open your heart. And see if you can relax around the neck and the shoulders. Inhale, and then exhale, let one hand come down and gently she shake. You can take the elbow back, gently look up. Now I want you to notice your low spine. If there's anything that feels like it's tucking under, just bring it out. Give yourself space. One more deep breath. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale, other side. Allow your shoulders to sweep back. Top elbow to go back. And then scan your body one last time. See what you can soften or expand. And then inhale, lift up. And let's stretch the chest and back. So clasp your hands, kind of wiggle it out. And maybe you can even feel if there's any tension you want to work on throughout your class. And then hands behind, clasp and lift. Again, soft knees to let the tail go tailbone go out and your blood flow. And take one more deep breath and then gently shake it out. All right, so we'll grab our weights and our soft block if you're using one. Or a little pillow if you like. And place it long ways right between the feet. And then we'll lengthen out again. So lengthen the toes, lengthen the heels and really grip your block. So feel like you're squeezing the inner thighs if you're using one. Nice deep breath in. Start with exhaling down to the feet. And then inhale up into the crown. So try to lift your body a little taller. Yep. Shoulders back and we'll reach the arms up. Nice deep breath in. And then let's start. So a little tiny pulse and pulse and pulse. Yes. So you look great. So in your posture, just keep thinking expanding. Expand up through the head down through the feet, and out through the chest, both sides. Yes, you look awesome. 
Now take your mind into the muscles in the back and ask them to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, yes. And maybe that first body scan, you notice something that you want to strengthen or loosen or just care for. So how can you do that in this moment? So now a little more caring and strong in that way. Let's change it to up, down, and hold. Up, down, and hold. So nice deep breath. And remember, if you ever need a break, take a break. This is all about caring for your body in this moment. Every day is different. Yes, you look great. A little lift. Last two. And then stay at the bottom, and we'll think about the lift. So up, 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 and then bring it in. Up, 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 and then strengthen. Inhale, and exhale. So find a breath that suits your body. And maybe you want to scan again, because you're not moving much. You have more brain power. So think through your body. What do you want to change to make this feel better, stronger, more caring? For three, and two. And then we're going to stay right where we are. So hold your 90 and just bring your arms out. And then 90. Inhale. Use your belly. Exhale. Yes, you look awesome. So again, how can you add a little more ease to your strength? Is there somewhere you want to relax or add space to? Last two. One more time. Inhale. And then come on back to center and a little circle and pause. A little circle and pause. So again, notice what your body wants. Maybe you need a rest. Maybe you'll stay strong. Last one. And then we'll reverse all the way forward and back. Yes. Nice deep breath. Tell your body what you need. You've got this. You're listening. Last two. Last one. 10 quick pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it down. Roll it out. Great. You can kind of roll your neck, roll your shoulders. Take some movements that will help your body feel great. All right. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to work the triceps. I'll turn just a little bit so you can see the spine shape. So regroup your block. Long toes. Long heels. Take a nice deep breath in. And I want you to feel down into your feet as you squeeze the block. So get in touch with the legs. Nice deep breath in. And then exhale. Really reach head and tail away from each other. So you're going to draw up your belly. Yes. Shoulders back. Elbows high. And then extending arms. Nice deep breath in. And here we go. Exhale. Little pulse up. And up. So as you get started, let's just find your posture. So can you lengthen a little more head to tail? So that will feel like drawing your belly in. Can you roll the shoulders back a little more? Support your posture. And now take your mind into your tricep and add that little squeeze. And squeeze, yes. Great job. So keep thinking long through the neck. So I want you to get that feel of freedom there. Space helps your spinal fluid get to the whole body. And how's your breath? Can you breathe in a way that really helps you in this moment? Last two, last one, all the way up and hold. Down an inch, up and hold, down an inch. So feel your tricep and squeeze and relax. Squeeze, yes. And when again, what could you soften? Well, it doesn't have to be tight right now. If you ever want less, you stand up straight. If you ever want more, you kind of dig in and look down deeper. For three and two, up, stay, little bend in the elbow, push it straight. Little bend and push the knuckles. Inhale and exhale. So using your breath sometimes really helps. Take breaks when you need. And notice your neck. Can you elongate it? Add a little space. For three and two. You're almost there. Last one. Little circle. Little circle. Nice deep breath. Comfort your body. You've got this. Can you open the space around your neck for three, two, one, up, palms face up. So pause, take the shoulders, roll them back again, get your posture, and then lift and lift. So you're almost there, breathe deep into your arms. Thank your body for all it's doing. Nice deep breath for three, two, up, little scissor, in and out. 
So this is it before our pulses, you've got it. Stand up if you want less. Dig in if you want more for three, two, one. Up, 10 quick pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Hug it in. Great job. Take a deep breath. And then release one weight. And we'll stretch it out. So take the hand that has the weight, lift it up, gently draw back. And some days you need a little more time than others to so be gentle. And here, start to lift your heart. Again, you can make it a little back bend if you want to bend the knees and take the tail out. One more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, that light hand, bring it back, let it rest on your back to open your shoulder. Or if you want, you can hold on to your weight. And then how's your breathing? Can you really breathe in? And then as you exhale, what needs to soften? So the more you bring your mind back into your experience, the calmer your experience becomes. When all we are is present, we don't have those future worries or past regrets. So one more deep breath, just feeling it. And now add a little movement or play. So maybe you want to bend to one side or the other or shimmy. Just give yourself a moment to explore your stretch. And then when you're ready, exhale and take the hand that has the weight, draw it in front and gently bring it down. You can kind of rock again. And then come back to your breath, that experience of it. Notice your inhales, how they make you feel. And your exhales. And if that ever, you know, if it's hard to breathe one day, you can just bring yourself into your physical experience, like your toes, or the way the air feels. And that'll have the same calming effect. And then one more deep breath. And gently flip your palm. And you can take a little movement again if you want. We're just here for a few more breaths. And then one more nice deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. All right, so we'll switch hand, weight, lift it up, and start it slow. And then once you've got it, add that lift to the heart. So I want you to take your tail back, your knees are soft. It's almost a little back bend to get up into the tricep. Yeah, you look great. And then see if these next two breaths you can just soften around your neck. So give yourself some space. And then when you're ready, that light hand will come behind to either rest on the back or hold the bottom of your weight. And then add that same little lift to your chest. Tailbone back, belly in, soft knees. And notice how you're breathing. Can you relax your face, your jaw? What would make the experience of this feel a little bit better? So take a moment, about two more breaths. And then your hand with the weight, when you're ready, sweep it in front, hug your arm down, and add whatever movement you'd like. And how's your breathing? Take that one more conscious breath, really follow it. And then when you're ready, flip your palm, rock a bit more, find what feels really great in this day. And then when you're ready, add that movement and about two more breaths. And then we'll gently let it go. All right, it's a great job. Okay, so we're gonna come into our sun salutations next. So just make sure you have enough room to Step back, step to the head of your mat if you're using one. And we'll find our feet first. So grounding our body just helps us to be a little more in tune with it. So find your feet, soften your knees, lengthen the top of your head, and then open your heart. Now add to that a little hug of your ribs. So that's going to keep your spine straight. And where would your hands help you? Maybe palms open to be receptive to what you need, hands on your body or prayer, and take one deep breath, just seeing if you want to set an intention to care for your body in any certain way. And now with that in mind, inhale and reach up, and see how much you can extend your body. 
And then exhale, bend the knees, dive down, swan dive to forward fold. Hands to shins or under the toes, lengthen your back flat. Curl up. And then exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, step your right leg back for our first little lunge. And take as much time as you want. Line up your knee and your heel. Now lengthen head to back heel. So I really want you to feel like you're lifting your kneecap. You're engaging your glutes behind. Open your heart and take one deep breath. Just feel this pose. And then exhale, shift back. Downward dog or child's pose. Press your hands into the mat. Allow your heart to dip. Roll your armpits out. Soften your knees and feel your tailbone like that. Now press your hands down to see if your tailbone can lift even more. Take a deep breath, feeling the strength and the length that you're creating in your midsection. See if you can keep your spine as flat as it is right now and inhale forward to plank if you want to come to plank. And then once you're there, kneeling or lifted, take your shoulder blades a little kiss behind and add that little hug of the ribs that you practiced and take a deep breath. Exhale, slowly come all the way down. And then hips to the mat. Inhale, lift your heart to baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. We're going to do that two more times. So adding a little more posture. Inhale, lift. See so if you can tuck your chin to lengthen your neck. And take your tailbone towards the heels to lift your belly. And then exhale, let it go. And exactly what you just practiced. Inhale up, lengthen the neck, lengthen the tail. And then let it go. Tuck your toes. Push and pull back to your downward dog or child's pose. And take a deep breath. Press your hands into the mat. See how high you can get your hips. And then take two or three calming breaths. So what does your body need from you in this moment? Inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees. Step your right leg forward. And take that time again. Line up knee and heel. Your thigh in the direction of your toes. Add to it a little strength. Can you lengthen your head to back heel? Can you feel your left kneecap lift and that glute engage? And take one deep breath, just holding and being present in your posture. And then exhale, bend your knees, step forward, and allow yourself to relax. Shake it out. Yes and no. Roll your shoulders, move your hips. And take one more deep breath, just using this to decompress your spine. Now bend your knees a lot so you can lift your eyes, get your blood flow going, and inhale, rise up. If you want a little back bend, bend the knees, take the tail back, lift your heart, and let it shine. And then exhale, hands, and come down. All right, so we're going to add on a little bit to some core work in the middle. So take a moment. And just breathe. See if you can ground into the feet, soften the knees, lift the crown. And then where would you like your hands for this round? Take a deep breath, reset your intention, or find a new one. And when you're ready, inhale and reach up. So make each pose yours. Really reach. What do you want it to feel like? And then exhale, dive, bend your knees, feel yourself freely fall. Hands to shins or under the toes, lengthen, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Knees bent, step your left leg back this time. So find your low lunge, line up, thigh, heel, knee, toes, same direction. Add your strength. I want you to picture the back knee and see if you can keep it right where it is. Now right arm, inhale, twist up. So if you think about the back knee, the left knee rolling out to the left, you'll get a little more opening in your head. One more deep breath in, really reach. And then exhale, bring it down. Knees bend, step back to your downward dog. Or child's pose and take a break. A nice deep breath. Now strengthen your hands so you can lift your tailbone more and really soften your knees. So I want you to give freedom to the back by softening the knees. One more deep breath in. If you want to flow through plank, inhale. Roll forward and see if you can keep your spine as flat as it was. Shoulders connect, ribs hug, nice deep breath in, feel your strength. And then exhale, slowly bring it down. And then just pause here. All right, so we're gonna do some side line work. 
So I want you to roll just towards your camera so you can pick whatever side and just remember which one it is so we can do the next one on the other side. Okay, so you can lay down, you can kind of hold your head or you can lay your head on your arm. And then once you've got it, I want you to see if you can stack your hips and just kind of bring the belly in. Sorry, you're having to re-move where your cameras are. And then hand can go right on the top of the leg. And we're just gonna lift the leg, flex the foot, draw it down, point. Lift the leg, flex the foot, draw it down, yes, point. Lift, flex, draw it down, yes. So point lift, flex, lower. Point, lift, there we go, flex, lower. Now see if you can lengthen around the neck. Nice deep breath for three and two. And then last one. We're going to use the side of our body here. So I want you to lengthen out your arm that's on the mat. And then again, rest your other hand there. And like a smile, you're going to push your lengthened arm down to lift your heart, lift your leg, and really reach. And then lower down. So we're really working our obliques and back. Inhale, reach up, press, press, press. And then lower down. Inhale, lift. So we're gonna add the lower leg if you want. So inhale, reach everything up, reach, reach, reach. Yes, and then lower down, you look awesome. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, lower it down. Inhale, last two. And exhale down. And the last one, breathe, reach, reach, reach. And then lower, you did awesome. All right, so you're just gonna roll your chest to the mat and come back to child's pose. And take two deep breaths to let your back round. So the deeper you breathe, the more you get around in your back. Last one to ground you. And then gently come back to your downward dog. And take a deep breath. You can pedal it out, you can play here. So now that you already know your posture, it gives you freedom to kind of break the rules for a moment and just nourish your body. And then once you've had enough play, you bring yourself into that great posture. Strong hands, open heart, bend knees. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, set the left leg forward, and we'll find our little lunge on this side. So take the time you need. Line up, knee, heel, thigh, toes. Yes. Now think about your back knee, and I just want you to roll it out again. Keep it strong. And then you'll take your left hand and really twist it up. So you're on your opposite side. But add to it that thinking of rolling the right knee out. Yes, getting your hip open. One more deep breath. Feel the strength, wrist to wrist. And then exhale, gently draw it down. All right, so we're coming to the other side. So you can sweep your leg in, and then you might just have to turn your body to your other side. And it really is side line work in this one. So you can hold your head or lay it on your upper arm. Once you're there, I want you to stack your hips. So feel like your abs are having to support you there. Yeah. And then when you're ready, lay your top hand on your thigh and we'll lift our leg, flex the foot, draw it down. Point. Lift, flex, squeeze. So point, lift. So come back into your neck. I want you to lengthen it. See how much you can rest your upper body to get a little more out of your lower body. Yes. And now notice your abs and see if you can really think about stabilizing. So how little can you wiggle? You're doing awesome. Now what else do you want to soften? Yes, nice deep breath for three. So what else can you lengthen if anything feels too tight? And this is our last one. So really feel that squeeze, make it happen in the inner thigh. Okay, so now you get to lay down. So just lay your arm on the ground if it's not already. Top hand still resting on your thigh. We're gonna inhale, press the lower arm to reach the upper leg. Yep, and then exhale, lay it down. So you're just making your body smile. So inhale, reach it up, make that C shape. And then exhale down, you look awesome. So inhale, press, 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 lift, lift, lift. And then exhale down. Now if you want to add on both legs, inhale, reach it up, smile the body. And then exhale, lay it down. 
Last two, really reach, reach, reach. So can you think about the heels lifting? So last one, lift, 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 and then lay it down. Great job. All right, so to get out of it this time, I kind of want you to sweep your heels towards your butt and then come up to sit. Okay, so we're gonna stretch it. You really worked your sides, so I just want you to sweep over towards your feet and stretch all the way down one side. Yeah. Nice deep breath in, lift your elbow back. And then as you exhale, you can kind of come back to center. Inhale, lift your elbow back. And exhale back to center. So one more time, inhale, lift it open. And exhale, take your upper hand, sweep it across to the other side, and we'll switch. So take your feet to your other side, and just let your hand rest on your feet or your legs somewhere that feels good to you. And then we're going to elongate the side with our hip on the ground. Inhale, reach it up, and exhale over. And let's add that little bit of dynamic movement. So inhale, reach up, open the heart. Exhale, soften. Two more times, breathe in, and then exhale out, and last time, inhale. And this time, exhale, sweep your arm the whole way across, get a stretch through the side waist. All right, so now you can bring your feet in front, let your heels hover, and we'll take a breath to just stretch our calves here. So as you breathe, let your chest really rest against the thighs. And in this quiet moment, just let yourself also notice what your mind has been doing or if it's been present. And then come back into the present moment. So feel one more breath fully from start to finish. Push your heels down, lift your hips up, bend your knees, and slowly rise. So this time you can rise where you're stacking your vertebrae. Roll your shoulders back and just shake it out. All right. Doing great. So we're going to have our feet a little bit wider next, and you can have access to a weight, or if you'd rather, a chair to be able to touch, to balance on. So if you don't need the balance and you want the weight, I'll be showing that so you can do that. Okay, so hands, you can hold both edges of the weight, roll the shoulders back. And here in a wide plie, I want you to bend, and then we're just going to find posture. So kind of roll your heels in, toes out to the point that you feel like from the hip line, everything is going in the same direction. So take a look down and make sure on both sides, your hip, knee, toes, all kind of shine, yeah. And then you come down, and I want you to notice that your weight is in your heel and your knees are kind of right over top of your heels, not too far. All right, you look good. So roll the shoulders back, lengthen head to tail. And then with your weight, just a little tiny pulse and pulse, yeah. So we're just gonna start to warm up the legs and really feel your breath again. Can you exhale, sweep your heart back or your shoulders back to open the heart? Lengthen, soften in your face. For three, two, and then down and hold. Up an inch, down and hold. Yes, breathe in and exhale. So see if you can lengthen your feet if any of your toes feel like they're gripping too much, give them a little space. And how's your belly? Just let it really help you. Feel like it's supporting your posture. And same with the muscles in your upper back. Roll it back. Feel like they're supporting you. For three and two. And then we're going to come down, lift one heel, and there's pulses again. So pulse and pulse. See if you can spread the weight on all five toes. So really press into the pinky as much as the big toe. Three. Two, and then down and hold. Up an inch, down and hold. So what do you want to expand? What would help you make this feel better? Find it for you. For three, and two, yes. Last one, now bring the heel down, the other heel up. Find your knees if they spilled in or out, and then a little pulse. Yes, great. And can you lengthen again? Really let your tail, like it had a weight on it, just drop. Spread your heart for three, two, and then down and hold. Up an inch, down and hold. So your tailbone, if it feels tight at all, just kind of take it back a little bit, and that will help the low back have space. Yeah, for three and two. All right, so both heels are going to come up if you want. Everything is if you want. And then we're going to straighten the legs. 
So not all the way straight, a little bit, and then all the way down. Straighten and push into the toes, and then down, yes. Now see if you can lengthen head to tail. You look great. Last three, and down. Last two, you look awesome. All right, so if you want, we're just gonna add on a little bit of arms. You're gonna come down and then up. So you're only doing five. So nice and big, yes, you look great. For three, or sorry, four, there we go. And three, so find your posture, reach. Yes, feel how expansive you can be. Last one, and then we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels down, wiggle it in, and gently roll it up. You did great. All right, so very slowly, bend your knees, drop yourself down. And I want you to kind of just wiggle side to side. So you're gonna get an inner thigh stretch. You can push your hands into the mat and use that to help you go a little bit deeper if you want. Kind of lifting up your toes. And now come steady. Soft knees, take your hands to one side and breathe across your long side waist. Really make sure your knees have a slight bend. Again, that's all about blood flow, helping your body nourish and protect your joints. One more calming breath. And then we'll gently walk to the other side. And again, allow yourself to expand through the long side waist. Soft knees. With each exhale, can you get a little bit softer in your body? And last deep breath there. Gently turn to one foot and now elongate for a hamstring stretch. So it's like pyramid pose if you were doing yoga. So see if you can line up knees, toes, heels, just like you've practiced, and lengthen head to tail. So those plies really work all around the legs. So give yourself time to breathe. If you want to add a twist, make sure your knees are bent, and then reach the same side hand into the air that's the leg underneath you. So you're just opening towards that leg. One more deep breath. And then exhale, your hand comes down. And we're gonna switch. So just take your other leg underneath your body. Feel like you can lengthen out, add that softness to your knees. To make it feel deeper, you lengthen your head forward, hips back. And if you prefer to add a twist, same side hand as the leg that's beneath you, and we twist it up. Nice deep breath, roll the shoulders back. One more inhale, and then exhale, both hands down, step the feet together. Bend your knees a lot with your head hang. Take one breath with your belly against your legs. And then slowly roll it up. And shoulders sweep back, you can kind of shake it out. All right, so we're gonna come down to the mat. Can we your chair out of the way if you were using that? And then we'll come down. So feet, bring them so that they're hip width, so our alignment principles are always in place. Feet, heels, toes, knees, all in the same direction. So if you want to add some weights, you can. We're going to do it without weights first so that you can feel it. But just a warning if you want to hold them. All right, so bend your knees up. Take your tail and the crown of the head and lengthen them again. Yep and then belly in, and with your mind, can you relax your hip flexors a little bit? So they are gonna help some, but our hips are tight enough, so see if you can relax them. All right, and then arms, we're just gonna bring them out. So you've done W arms with me, so we're gonna kind of bring the elbows towards our back, hug your ribs in, yeah. And then gently just bring it down. So you can kind of tuck your tail a little bit, but you're only coming down a third of the way. And then we're gonna bring the arms in and out. In and out, yes. So feel your back strengthen, and then lift. Strengthen, and then press out. For three, relax your hip flexors. Last two, 
And then last one, gently bring it up. And if you want, you can kind of take a little spill over just to release your back. And then we'll come back to center, roll the shoulders back. So if you want to use your weights, we're going to do that one more time. So you can hold on to your weights. It's going to add a lot for your core and your arms as well. So shoulders roll into the spine. Ribs, hug them in. Open the heart. Inhale. Relax and flexors. Exhale. And then breathe in one more time. And as you exhale, round back just a third of the way. Feel yourself squeeze your postural muscles. And then press out. Squeeze. And then press. Think about your hip flexors. Can you relax them? You got this for three and two. Now we're gonna come in and hold. Out a little and then hold. Nice deep breath, relax hip flexors for three and two. Now think about the in, hold it there, and now push out and come in. So press, it's not much different, but you're kind of using the head of the shoulder more and come in and press. You press with the knuckles for three, Relax hip flexors, you got it. Last two. And then last one. Ten quick pulses. So in, in, in. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Use your hands. Help your body lay back so you can kind of roll down and lengthen head to toes, hands and toes. Let your ribs pop. I want you to bend one knee so you're in a reclined tree pose and really reach almost C-shape towards the bent knee to open your hip. And then switch which knee is bent, lengthen the other leg, kind of C-shape. And then gently bring the arms to the sides. Bend your knees so they're back in the air just like you were when you are sitting. Kind of lengthen out your tail. Bring your heels in line with your hips. So we're gonna do a little bit of bridges. So roll your shoulders back. Let your arms rest by your sides. They can be palms up or palms down. Take one deep breath just to be present with your body. Notice how you're feeling so you can adjust your workout. And then when you're ready, push into the heels and very slowly peel the back up. So one vertebrae at a time. And then pause at the top. And I want you to think about your feet first. Can you push down all four corners so you feel like you grounded your feet? And then now your knees. Can you lengthen them away from your heart center to feel like you're elongating, strengthening, kind of helps open your spine. And then think about the glutes and a gentle lift up and up and up. Yeah. You look great. So just take a nice deep breath. See if you can relax in the face and the jaw. And now up and hold. Down an inch, up and hold. So nice deep breath, what would help you feel better? Can you soften your face or adjust your posture? Lengthen up through the knees, last two. Last one, so kind of stay lifted just right where you are. So we're almost done. If you want, you can take one heel up and then draw that knee into your heart. And then lengthen your leg into the air. Now see if you can square up your hips and just 10 pulses, 10. Nine, so pointing the toe up to the sky, if that feels okay, or keeping your knee bent. Four, three, two, foot down, find your bridge. So let's pause again, reset, heels, knees, toes, all in line. Lengthen up through the knees, give your low back more space, and take a breath. Now push into the other side, lift your other heel. If you want, you can bring the knee towards your heart. If you want, you can lift your toes up. And just 10 pulses. So lift and lift. Try to square your hips. Press into that grounded foot. Five, four, three, two. You made it. Foot down very slowly. Lay your back down with control. And then hug your knees and your heart and really rock around. Celebrate all that your body did. Nice deep breath with thankfulness. And now roll your spine in little circles. You kind of make a circle around your tailbone to massage your back. Other direction. And now flex your feet. Cross one leg over the other as if you're sitting in a chair. Hold on to your shins and gently tug them apart. And give a little rocking motion if you like. So if you feel like you can pull your heels in opposite directions, you might feel it more. 
but you can also just let your knees kind of bend in for a little less. Take about two more deep breaths. Let your body soften. And then reverse whichever leg is on top. Flex your feet, hold on to your shins, and a little rock if you like. So the goal of the rocking, one, it's kind of calming, but two, you might be able to find a better place for your stretch and your, your hips, your glutes, your butt. Yeah. All right, now lay one leg on the mat. Keep the other knee, hug it in. We're gonna to come to recline pigeon. So I want you to hold on to your foot with your opposite hand and then your knee or thigh with your same side hand. And just gently draw your foot across your body. Soft knees. If it feels better, you can hug your elbows around your leg and foot and kind of rock that way. And then breathe through the bottom heel, really elongate it to open your hip. Take one more deep breath. Can you relax your shoulders? And now the foot you're holding on to, just reach up towards the sky for half of a happy baby. So hold it with the same side hand and just draw it down. Your opposite hand can kind of slide down the thigh on that side, trying to open knee to knee. And one more deep breath. And if it feels good to come out of it through that recline tree pose, you can kind of bend your knee out to the side and then we'll switch. So lengthen out that foot, draw the other knee in, kind of hug it first, and then find our recline pigeon. Use your opposite hand, draw the foot across. If it feels good, hug your elbows. And then just lengthen. Lengthen from the bottom heel all the way up through the crown. Feel your hips widen that way. Lengthen your heart center to relax around the neck. Maybe have a little rocking if that helps your hips open, your body feel good. And one or two more deep breaths. Just allow yourself to soften in. And the foot that you're hugging, gently let it lift towards the sky, hold the same side hand in or outside of the foot. And then just find what feels good. You can slide your other hand down on the thigh on that side. And again, roll your shoulders back. Give yourself freedom. Two or three more deep breaths. Soften your face. Let yourself be. And then as you come out of it, if you want to recline tree on that side, you can. All right, bring the palms of both feet together, knees wide for that recline cobbler's pose or butterfly and reach your arms overhead. You can hug onto your elbows if that feels good. Let your belly just rise and expand all the way down into the hips. One more deep breath, see so we can relax. And if anything feels tight, I want you to celebrate your work and just acknowledge that it is helping to strengthen your body. And now reach your hands and toes long one more time. Really reach, reach, reach. And lastly, hug your knees. If you want to rock, you can. And then roll to one side and allow yourself to lay on that side for a moment. So as you lay, give yourself permission to feel heavier. Celebrate the weight of your body. And that helps you feel calm. Notice how the ground is holding you and see if you can soften your muscles, soften your face. Simply let yourself be held and your body breathed. So one more deep breath, just being in your body, thankful for its care. And then your top hand, you can gently press. And one more time, we'll hover onto the balls of the feet. So bring your feet under you, heels back. Let your chest rest against your legs. Take a nice deep breath. Feel your palms and your feet ground. And then see how much you can really breathe into the back. So give yourself permission to expand there. Relaxing the jaw and the face. 
last breath. And then gently hips lift, bend your knees, slowly roll it up. All right, we'll step wide and take our final three deep breaths. Bend knees, inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down. Two more, breathe in. Feel your body, feel your breath. Awesome, last one. So grateful for the feeling of life. We did it, great job. I hope you feel super strong and supported. So thanks so much for doing this. Thank 